It was a very warm and highly befitting reception for President Muhammad Buhari by his South African counterpart Cyril Ramaphosa as he arrived to the seat of government, otherwise referred to as the Union Building in Pretoria. Apart from a 21-gun salute, a ceremonial guard of honor was also mounted by a detachment of South African armed forces to formally welcome the Nigerian leader on the historic and remarkably significant invitational visit. The two leaders of the largest economies in Africa then retreated for high-level talks on issues of concern towards enhancing relations between the two countries. Most critical is the recurring acts of hostility against Nigerians and other foreign nationals in South Africa. Mr. President, we have condemned in the strongest terms attacks against Nigerians and other African nationals living in South Africa the looting of their shops and businesses and burning of their properties. We call for the strengthening and implementation of all the necessary measures to prevent the reoccurrence of such action which threatens to undermine not only our strong bilateral relations but also what we stand for in the context of our vision for a strong and prosperous Africa we want. At a joint media briefing shortly after, both leaders promised to work more closely towards finding lasting solutions. What has happened does not represent the values of the peoples of Nigeria and the values of the peoples of South Africa. And as leaders, both President Buhari and I will not tolerate them. And to make sure that we take steps moving forward that we bring an end to these. We have agreed that early warning mechanisms will be set up so that once we see that there is restiveness in both our people's sort of side, we will be able to inform one another, to find ways and active ways of ensuring that we do not have recurrences. It is a question of competition at very low levels. It means that our respective police forces and security agencies must be very alert. They must infil infiltrate the communities, know their thinking, and make sure they don't allow violence to escalate. Some members of the Nigerian delegation to South Africa described the high-level engagement as appropriate, timely, and reassuring. Mr. President is a, a man of very high integrity. And uh, he doesn't compromise, you know, uh, his integrity. And uh, we have displayed it, you know, by insisting that um, those who were wrongly attacked, those who were property were, you know, uh, illegally bound, that uh, the South Africa should address it. Uh, so he has acted as usual as the father of our great nation, Nigeria. The type of uh, confusion that is existing among the people. It's not tolerable, it's not acceptable, but I think with the dialogue between the two uh, heads of governments, I think that problem, we are on the way is on solving that problem. I saw a lot of passion in all of them, in their resolve, first commitment and also the, their desire to protect their people and also not beyond, looking even beyond their country as leaders in Africa. Things that we thought were going to be issues that were, were going to be irreconcilable. Within a short time, maturity in leadership, it was diplomatically sorted out. And so we are now looking forward to implementation. President Buhari's engagements in South Africa continue. The Nigeria South Africa by National Commission has been in existence for nearly 20 years. For the first time, however, it has been elevated to the level of heads of state in a renewed determination by the two countries to, amongst others, institutionalize their relations, significantly increase and diversify trade, and make conditions conducive for greater investment flows. Speaking at the opening of the inaugural session, President Muhammad Buhari spoke of the need for the two countries to seek opportunities towards expanding their cooperation in critical economic sectors for the benefit of their peoples. We are pleased to inform you that our government has made doing business in Nigeria easier through the ease of doing business initiative to open up 
more opportunities for investors in Nigeria. We call on the government of South Africa to also take steps to ease the doing of business in the country and open up its market space for Nigerian businessmen and women. We are determined on our part to sustain the renewed vigor of the strategic partnership between Nigeria and South Africa, anchored on regular consultation, collaboration and cooperation. During the meeting, which continued behind closed doors, progress report was presented on the 32 agreements and memoranda of understanding signed between the two countries over the years. These are in the areas of trade and industry, science and technology, defense, agriculture, energy, transport and tourism. The two leaders committed themselves to ensuring that those in force are fully implemented and the others yet to be in force be revived immediately. We are in the process of further deepening our reforms so that we can make it a lot easier for our economies to be open to businesses. We want to welcome more and more Nigerian businesses to operate in our space. We want in our, South Africa has a number of large corporations that operate in the Nigerian market. Uh, in the South African market, many of them are small and medium enterprises. We want to address this imbalance so that we have more and more slightly larger Nigerian companies coming to operate here. And the various incentives that we have as a government uh, will obviously also be available to them. We agreed on the need for us to strengthen even further our cooperation in areas such as peace building, good governance and sustainable development in Africa in order to deliver the Africa we want. We have also committed to reinforcing our leadership role for peace, security and development in Africa. President Ramaphosa in particular used the opportunity to once again express his country's appreciation to Nigeria for the sacrifices made towards freeing South Africa from the shackles of colonialism and imperialism. From Pretoria, South Africa, 